Bell Center with John Giannone. John? Yeah, Deb, thanks. And standing is the operative word. This is proof that Nick Antropov is six foot six. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, 65 minutes of what seemed to be nonstop playoff intensity hockey. Yeah, you just said it. I mean, nice to get two points. You know, both teams was a, it was a huge game for both uh, teams. And I'm glad at the end we end up winning and got two points. You, but you were right. Yeah, it's, it was 65 minutes of playoff hockey for sure. I know you're still learning about this team. Did you learn a little something about how resilient this team can be coming back after having three leads? Well, I mean, yeah, of course. But I knew we, we have a hard group of uh, guys, hardworking group of guys, you know, in, in our dressing room. And, uh, you know, we didn't really thought for a second we we're going to lose the game, you know, like even when they tied up second 2-2 two, two, and then 3-3, three, three, you know, like we still was going for full steam on them. And, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to do a shootouts and I'm glad we, uh, I mean, we won. Tell me about the mood on the bench when, when you guys kept watching leads disappear and then you had to kill off a penalty in the last two minutes of regulation just to get to that first point. Well, mood was great, as I said. Yeah. Everybody was. Uh, everybody knows we're gonna back each other. You know that's what we did. Uh, Scotty got the you know two minutes, but it was questionable. I would say, but I mean, two minutes is two minutes, and uh, we knew we we're gonna back each other on the bench and on the ice. And uh, you know we killed those two penalties, and uh, comes up with two points. Okay, we assigned one of our cameramen to follow you around all night, so we shine the spotlight on you here and see some of the work you did starting in the second period. Take us through some of this, Nick. Well, just uh, you know, like that's four and four. I remember that. I should have passed two drawers, but uh, you know, I just hesitated. <laughs> for a second and here's the goal yeah well I made you know hit coil and then just you know <laughs> skated behind the plane and a fortunate puck comes out to me you know and uh, I buried there and then doing the work that obviously you were brought here to do with that big body going to the net driving to the net both late in the second period and then again in the third parking yourself in front of Carey Price yeah that's what I've been doing for the past few years you know and uh, seems seems to work for me you know like you got a lot of uh, scored a lot of goals from out of you know in the crease because uh, all the rebounds all this stuff you know end up in front of the net so that's pretty good not to, not really good place to hang out you get bounces and bruises and stuff like that but uh, that's where he scored the goals Improving that physicality, create scoring opportunities, and then in the shootout, boy, you had a lot of room. Yeah, it was uh, Kerry, I guess, uh, made the early move. You know, he went down a little bit earlier than I expected, but he opened up for me <laughs> top corner. That's why I put it on. How much are you enjoying this experience? I know when you got traded, you obviously gained a lot of in the standings, but it's always difficult to join a new team at this time of year. How, how are you enjoying it so far? Well, it's, as I said, it's been fun and nothing else, you know. Uh, you moved from a team that's basically out of uh, playoffs, you know, and you moved to a team who's battling and every every game you can be out of playoffs and in the playoffs you know and the standings up and down in standings but it's as I said it's that's what we play for you know to get into the playoffs and then hopefully make a run. Thanks for coming out. Thank you guys. Nick Antropov with a goal in regulation a goal in the shootout part of a 4-3 win and a huge second point for the Rangers here in Montreal. Deb and Stan back to you in New York.